Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Gogoi of Padmanad Gohaibara School of Humanities, Krishna Kanda Handik State Open University. Today I shall take up Unit 9 of General English Course, Semester 1, Block 2. The unit is titled William Shakespeare, Macbeth. And this is part 1 where we shall discuss the life of William Shakespeare. Let us then quickly begin. I shall first begin with a table of contents starting with the learning objectives followed by the introduction, the life of William Shakespeare and a few questions to check your progress and the references. Coming to the learning objectives. After going through the video, the learner will be able to gain an insight into the life of William Shakespeare who is considered one of the greatest dramatists of all times. To introduce you to William Shakespeare, William Shakespeare was one of the greatest known literary figures of English literature. Shakespeare who is associated with the epithet the Bard of Avon. Yes, you heard right. The Bard of Avon was born on April 26, 1564. Traditionally, however, his birth is celebrated on April 23rd, which is also known to have been his date of death. Isn't that a coincidence? Coming to the life of William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was the eldest of the eight children of John Shakespeare and Mary Arden of Stratford of Avon. John Shakespeare worked as a tradesman and bailiff who had an influential role in the society. Mary Arden came from a family of high social standing. Only five of the eight children had survived childhood. Shakespeare, like his other brothers, was provided education in a local drama school. He married Anne Hathaway, a wealthy widow, in the year 1582. His daughter Susanna was born in 1583 and the twins Hamnet and Judith were born in the year 1585. It has been stated in archival records that Shakespeare began as a schoolmaster in the countryside. In 1587, an actor of a theatre company called Queensmen had died and Shakespeare may have filled up the vacancy, leading to his future rise as a renowned playwright. Later, he became a leading member of the Lord Chamberlain's men in 1594 to become prosperous. Soon the theatre group became the leading theatre company of London and succeeded in occupying the famous Globe Theatre in 1599. The Globe Theatre was a large polygonal thatch building with a centre open to the sky. It was used for the purpose of theatre performance. So you can imagine this wonderful structure of the Globe Theatre. The group soon came to be known as the King's Men. Shakespeare flourished as a playwright and in the year 1610 and left London for his hometown where he began to live at a new residence in New Place. His relationship with the theatre company ceased when the Globe Theatre was burned down during a performance in 1613. During the last years of his life, Shakespeare became more involved with Stratford and his children, especially with regard to the marriage of his daughters. Nevertheless, his connection with the theatre world did not perish and he continued creating his dramatic works. Shakespeare passed away on April 23, 1616 and was laid to rest in Holy Trinity. This brings us to questions to check your progress. Starting with question number 1. Who is associated with the epithet Bard of Avon? Question number 2. Who was William Shakespeare born to? Question number 3. What was the name of the theatre company for which William Shakespeare first began to work? Question number 4. What was the structure of the Globe Theatre? Question number 5. How did William Shakespeare spend the last days of his life? With this we come to the end of this unit. Here are the references. I hope you would also refer to BA English Graduate Self-Learning Material of General English Block 2, Unit 9, Semester 1. Thank you dear learners.